the federal government can say we can no longer fund this, 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 like about uh, 20, 30 agencies. And that means all the people working there, which is mostly populated by northerners, right? They will have to go and look for something else, or their state can absorb them, I mean, absorb them into their system. So this fear of uh, the free flow of money seems to rattle them more in northern Nigeria because there are so many, so many government, federal government agencies, parastatas, that even you in the southern part of Nigeria don't even know they exist. For every year, tens of billions of Naira is allocated to them and the money must be spent, gone. So with Ifnungu's this tax reform, so the federal government will, is, will actually reset its own priority. And you can go and do whatever they, you want with the money they give to you. So to those in the South, it is more or less like it's going to be a matter of time, but we can catch up. I'm just saying, like, because what would be the reason why we are not hearing from the Southern uh, governors or Southern politicians? Every one of them just feel like uh, it's fine. Remember those states I mentioned earlier from the beginning? I have not really heard from states like Bayosa, Ondo, uh, Taraba, Plateau, Oyo, Kogi, Ekiti, Ebonyi, Borno, Borno. Okay, I've moved here from Borno. That's uh, Zulum. There's only Borno. We haven't heard from the Benue. We've not heard from Akwa Ibom, Cross River. From Abia, from Edo, from Delta, we have not heard from them. Oshun. So is it that they, I mean, maybe we are still going to, or maybe they are kind of like, do not want to go public. Because the people that are voting in support of uh, the bill right now, they are the National Assembly members from all these states. It has passed the first reading, the second reading. Once they do the third one, it becomes the law. Then Tifnubu would have to sign it. Somebody said that, uh, which I don't agree, someone said that Tifnubu will use that since the Northern Nigeria is rattled already by this bill. Said Tifnubu will use that to negotiate for a second term by not signing it into law. As, ah, Tifnubu not signing what will give him money to into law. Are you, are you joking? The first thing they did when they removed their subsidy was to replace those who are going to be collecting the subsidy from the ones appointed by Bokwari to the ones he appointed. And that's how Ohando became wealthier than they've always they've ever been in their history. They made over a billion dollars. Ohando made over a billion dollars in a single year, profit just because. Tifnumbu became president. So, Tifnumbu that is uh, already working on now alpha beta will be the one collecting all these taxes. By next year, alpha beta will be announced as the consult I'm a consultant. And it since all of you are already having PTSD over alpha beta, they may just float another company, consultancy uh, company. They will be collecting the tax. It may even be Shaguri Shaguri's uh, consultancy that will be collecting it. And they will be taking their 20% and give the rest to the states. So Tipnumbu would not back down on what uh, maybe shall, you know, like as they say, like uh, for a second term in 2027. Again, we can only speculate. But when you put one and two together, sometimes you'll be right. So the North is so rattled than the South. And this is going to affect everyone if you look at it very well. They are selling the idea of if you are a business that, that is making less than 50 million naira, you are not going to pay tax. Or if you are, a, if you are a, uh, they say 90% of uh, workers, they are not going to pay taxes on their VAT. And you believe that. Or oh, they said that uh, there are some food beverages that uh, they will not pay tax. Do you know that uh, VAT itself is going up uh, to 10% by January? And then it's going to go to 
15% by June next year. Are you aware? Right now, it is a 7.5% VAT. That is how much you pay on everything you buy. Your consumption is 7.5%. So by January, it's going to be 10%. By June next year, it's going to be 15% VAT. Maybe before the end of the year, it's going to be 20% VAT. You see all these things that they are promising you and saying that you are not going to be affected and the rest. Everybody's going to be affected though. And it is actually not really going to give more money to anyone per se. You know, but I don't think it's uh, just the North that uh, should be upset. The South should, from states in Southern Nigeria, or maybe they are just playing along and they're uh, waiting for the worst to happen. Because there's nothing that is going to happen that uh, will affect your elite. Your state governors are still going to be living large. Anyway, let's leave that at uh, their tax stuff for now then, okay? Uh, yesterday, there's this uh, video that made it to the internet. The first one was a lady who recorded uh, this bag of, uh, these bags of uh, pure water. And she said there is no water in Lagos, I mean, in uh, Lekki, Ajaudus uh, Island. In Lagos, they had no pipe bond water. There's no tap water. Their water is uh, not like drinkable. So you, it's only, not only that, oh, you can't even use the water for bathing. So the majority of people living in uh, Lagos, most expensive uh, area, in the, on the island, they had to buy pure water every week. Some said every day. Pure water, you have to buy a bag of pure water. Right? If you want to shower. And this is the area where people are like the expensive area of uh, Lagos. So Papaya X made a video. And she said she's spending over 60,000 or so naira every, every week or thereabouts for water. And then we saw another video where some people were destroying these bags of pure water, sachet water. So these two videos made it to the internet. And people said the people destroying the pure water bags, they, they were with uh, Tokumbo. Wahab, because Lagos State is about to ban the sachet water, which they believe has made Lagos pretty much like a, the dirtiest and all that, littering everywhere, littering everywhere. So Wahab came out and said, no, this is not our people. We are not the ones destroying the pure waters. Okay. And they said it was the NAFDAQ. Others said, oh, there is a protest. There's a protest by the pure water sellers in Lagos. And they told people not to sell because they are protesting. But some people, I mean, some of the trucks that you saw them destroy, they were the people that violated that directive of the Association of Pure Water Sellers. Anyway, Wahab said it was the NAFDAQ. NAFDAQ came out and said, no, it wasn't us. I put all the three videos in one, all right? And I want you to, I'll come back and react to it here. You guys, I'm back to using pure water to have my baths, to flush and do so many things in the house. Like, you guys won't believe that these are literally 30 bags of pure water. And this is how I use 30 bags every day to cook, to do everything I need to do. Like, I'm tired of like you. I'm tired. Imagine machine that I did two years ago is now faulty. And now I'm back to using pure water because the machine now costs almost 14 million euros. I did it last year, last two years, for uh, six million naira. Lucky people, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Like, I am tired. Like, I am seriously tired. Like, I cannot continue using bags of pure water to, you know, cook and do so many things. I can't. I really can't. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Boss, everything flat. You are uh, we are flooding this place flat. because this water will not flow out here. I told you I will close here. Then we would have no more sales. Why are you doing this? The whole water will flood the whole compound. Eh? I 
have explained to you things what I was not produced today. But my, it my, seems my, that you have a personal problem with these people. You have a personal problem. My problem. Are here. What about these people with they the go stop. They go stop, they don't go walk. Huh? They say they get time. Now don't this is the time where they will go now. So don't give the party front to do. Oh my god. You guys, I'm back to you. Okay. So what kind of country is this? What kind of life is this? Eh? It is not as if to say the uh, water was confiscated, right? Or maybe because the, you know, they are like substandard. So we are confiscating this and we're going to destroy it. No, they just sent out thugs. So the explanation then was that uh, there is a, an ongoing move to ban such a water. Well, I've always been hearing that that it should be banned. People should stop uh, producing it because uh, the, you know, the sachet, uh, the what do you call it, doesn't really dissolve and it doesn't degrade. So people should stop producing uh, pure water because they always block uh, the drainages and the rest of that. But when it was uh, put out there and people were asking for what, what was that, what's going on, the environment commissioner for in Lagos, who should have possibly come and cleared the year, said no, it wasn't his own guys. And then he said it's the NAPDAC. NAPDAC came out and said, no, it's not us. We do not go after the pure water trucks or go into their storage. And no, we, that's not us. It must be Lagos in that economy. Somebody said it on my Yogun's diary political this morning and said, what I don't finally get any me now. Because when you look at the level of that destruction and all that, if you are a business person in that Nigeria right now or in that Lagos right now, and you are looking at uh, your production being destroyed, not because uh, of the quality of because of something that they can't even tell you or they won't tell you. That is a way Nigeria will actually frustrate you, like, you know? Say, so what are no get enemy? What are no get enemy? What are don't finally get enemy now? Somewhere in Enugu, a group of travelers were attacked by kidnappers. Some of them escaped, but others were not so lucky, including the Reverend Father, who was taken shortly. So they dress up with police uniform. So they were opening the vehicle like this. So I thought it was a police. Mm. So one vehicle was in our front. One uh, he lost white color, they do the good thing. So they fired that one. Now the man went inside the house and the police, the police and I that. So those people now go here and they go see our very corner. Now where they begin fire, now we begin open fire. Now where they took their cell, run inside it, we begin follow them for the bush, then they fire with the fire. They, they enter the bush. Why then? One don't carry the man. Move why we're in the gym within ourselves. Carry the man in the car. Then they did see the boat to them now. From here, from here, get the fire. I don't know if you never touch. Yes. Okay. 
Because according to Tifnumbu and Ribadump, they are telling everybody that Nigeria is safer now. You can drive everywhere you want to go. Tifnumbu has managed to keep you safe. So I, I urge you to stay safe. So uh, similarly, in Borono State today, from where Zulum comes from, why Zulum was on uh, channels television, talking about uh, the reduction in insurgency, in terrorism in Borono State. According to him, he said before now, 22 local government areas were being controlled by the terrorists. But right now, there is no single local government under the control of the terrorists, except some few communities. Today, the terrorist uh, struck while he was at the channel's television studio. They killed their three people and kidnapped unknown number of people in Borono State today. See that video I just showed you? That one was on the Unsuka Express Road or Expressway in Enugu. So the Reverend Father was taken and few other people too. So those who were lucky, did you see the amount of policemen guiding the supposed VIP? I'll show you again. So if you want to travel in Nigeria, you have to go, if you have money, you will need to go and get your own security guys with guns. The police are there for hire. They will give you as many policemen as your money can pay for. All right? And then you will provide them with a, a vehicle so that you can act as your dispatch rider, as well as said, from behind. So that if you run into the terrorists of any kind, at least you have some people with guns too. So you can be paying as much as uh, 100,000 Naira every week to each policeman. Because that too, in Nigeria today, is a business opportunity for the supposed uh, uh, police chiefs in Nigeria. So policemen are always like want to be in the good book of their superiors because every weekend, there's always a gig, a gig that is outside your station, outside your jurisdiction, which can earn you more money than what the normal police salary will pay you. That is the situation of Nigeria. And if you don't have money, right, you may just be like uh, what your pastor said, or better still, follow the advice of this, my brother. Pastor, oko, oko, lapa, unso, unso, unso. Also, Pastor, our major still stick alone shower. I check on the people who live at the room. If you want it out, you pack by the room. Let us drive with the other. We just make some better people bring it to the place. I bet you could tell. Bring it by your pew. I will yarn it. We want to go by the room. 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 Get it. So what that simply means is that if you are not rich, you may have to go and use your own sangbeto or what have you to protect yourself. And then just probably give your life uh, to, to Jesus. Uh, and see if uh, it will protect you or else. It's just like a fair game. And that is the situation of that tech contraption today. Some might argue against that. They may tell you, no, it is not. I just hope Nigeria won't happen to you. You won't be a victim. A victim of uh, a failed country where those who are supposed to keep you safe, they are telling themselves that they have done the greatest job. The big, the, I mean, they've done well. It is only those who don't like them that are complaining. They have done well. Maybe the country is safe. So when the country is not, so if you are telling yourself the country is safe, that means you don't really have to do much anymore. And that is where the danger is. Well, I'll leave all of us to what we have shared there this evening, okay? And I'm going to see you again uh, some other time because, yeah, work resumes tomorrow.
Happy new month. Happy December to you. And may this uh, December, as you know, it's going to be like it's, it is the last month of uh, 2024, right? So I hope it pays and it works in your favor. Okay. So tomorrow, work starts tomorrow, right? I will see you tomorrow. We're not taking calls tonight. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your evening for those who are not already at night. And to those of us who are already at night, sleep tight and have a blessed week. Good night.
ayegun o so pe wo o bebe oni kan sha ti se yi to ya ki won se ma won ara ilu to pe won de be o aye aye ko ti de gogo oje lu e sura ki aye ko ti de gogo oje lu e sura ki Omo <laughs> Ayé <laughs> Eh, 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 eh,